Hello loves, Infinity here, coming to you with my girl Cora Dreamer and her man Macho Chacho. And we're taking a nice walk here. There's been a storm for a couple of days. Oh, there's some blue sky. I miss the sun a lot, but it's been really nice to have this clearing with this water, all this rain. Uh, it's been a mild storm, but steady rain on and off uh, for the last couple days. Really nice uh, to clean things out right as we end the year and get into the new year. Uh, I love the new year. <laughs> I'm always very excited about the new year. I'm always very excited about a new month. Uh, because it's just a new beginning, you know? And everything is different as we shift from one sign to another towards the end of the month, right around the 20th, 21st or 22nd of each month. And then about a week later, we get into a new uh a little more than a week later, we get into a new month. This time around, we have 31 days. It is the uh, 30th today. They both love their balls. Uh, it's the 30th of December. It is Saturday. Happy Saturday. We are just one day removed from... Look at all that cool moss. So much has been coming up lately. It's so pretty all over the trees and the branches and the rocks. I'm going to make a video just showing some of that because it's so pretty. See, there's some on that rock. Um, come on, guys. Uh, anywho. The end. Uh, I lost my train of thought with the moss. Um <laughs> The uh, 20, yes, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. Let's I think where I was going. New Year's Eve is tomorrow for those of you having parties or going to parties or whatever for New Year's Eve. I cannot remember. It's probably been close to 20 years since I did something for New Year's Eve. Uh, no joke or close to it. Um, uh, and, but then we have the new, new year and uh, new beginnings. And it's a great time to think about this past year, a little review. Think about where the year started, where you started when the year started, and what you were doing, what you were connected to, who you were connected to, uh, and... If any of those things have changed, just think about timelines and events that have changed things. How have you changed this year? What were the highlights? What were the lowlights? <laughs> what they were all about? How have you processed, uh, you know, each significant event, either a coming together or going apart? A separation, a move, um, uh, whatever. <laughs> Chances are you had a little bit of everything in, you guys, she's just like, whatever. Um, chances are, hey, Chacha, enough. She's not in heat. He's just horny. And she, <laughs> she uh, entertains him, I guess. She appeases him by just letting him do that. Um, they, they get along. They really get along well. She's kind of bossy with him, but, you know, any good couple, I guess that's the way it's going to go. There's going to be one that's a little bit more bossy, and a lot of times it's the female. Let's just be real about it, right? I mean, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just making an observation. Um... It's not always that way, for sure. It's not always that way. Uh, but anyhow. Uh, <sighs> I 
I do, though, believe that, you know, not the whole happy wife, happy life thing, because that can be very narcissistic and dark, but I do believe that as the female, as the divine feminine, as the mother, um, that there should be a different level of respect paid to the needs of of that position in the family um and just the dimensions of female and male partnership and how they support each other in certain ways um when I talk about like the bossiness it's like Usually females need to have very things, they're very sensitive, sensitive to their space, their energy, things like this. They need a certain structure, usually more than the man does. So that's really more than what I'm talking about. And if the, if the male respects the female, he will give her th that space and and uh, she'll get the priority for that. And that's how they are. That's how they are. <laughs> that's basically what I'm getting at. Um, hey guys, come on. <laughs> hey, hey, you need to stop that, Chacho. She needs to walk. That's ridiculous. It's been like 24 hours of intense humping action, mounting action, and it's, he's going to hurt her back and he's going to hurt her hips or her knees, if, especially if she's in movement and he's trying to mount her. It's crazy, but his hormones are raging. He is such a horny dog right now. Hey, do not jump on her. And he knows he's on, like, he knows. He knows it's not preferred by me that he does that. He know, And he knows that he shouldn't do it so much. But he really has a hard time controlling himself. It's just a phase. They've kind of reached this, like, space in their relationship where they're just a lot more intimate with each see like he's licking her her vagina and her butt and she's totally like comfortable with it hey uh-uh once it became clear that she was really into him in that way whatever that means for dogs their dynamics have there's been a shift in their relationship and he's increasingly gotten more horny because like she's like he knows that she's attracted to him so that makes him her very attractive because she's attracted to him that's basically the gist of it <laughs> that is basically the gist of it so he's just so she's very um yeah <laughs> she she doesn't hold back her her approval of him how much she likes him and wants to play with him and be with him and all this stuff even though she gets very territorial with about stuff and snaps at him about things and is bossy like i said um that's beside the point <laughs> It's like classic male-female shit. I swear to God. It's just really interesting to see it play out in dogs. Ha! Huh. Yes, adorable. So anyway, I hope you don't mind the little dog talk, feminine masculine talk here. But it is something that it's, it's universal in a lot of ways. And... Uh, my my relationship with their relationship is really quite a unique perspective, you know. 
I've never, I've never had that before. Um, well, I had it with cats and it's very similar actually. Um, now that I come to think about it and they, the others, the cats ended up, I, I wanted them to have babies and they did, but it completely changed their dynamic and she didn't like him so much anymore which really was heartbreaking to see because he didn't understand. Um, but I guess, you know, cats are just not set up. A lot of animals, cats, dogs probably too. A lot of animals are not set up to have a family unit. They're meant to, you know, get excited about each other. The female eventually goes into heat. She gets pregnant. The guy takes off. She does it alone. And there's that. But when you have a, a pair that live together, and he was such a good daddy too. He was such an amazing dad, father to those kittens. But that didn't matter. She really wanted nothing to do with him. They never snuggled anymore. Hey, stop that, Chacho. Macho muchacho. You be good. She loves to explore and scavenge and get all into stuff. This is wood we're getting cut up. He just follows her around. So wherever she goes, he'll go. It's kind of rarely the other way around. Hey, what's up? What's up, my gorgeous boy? What's up, Mr. Handsome Face? Yes, you are. You're Mr. Handsome Face. Uh, they're so cute. So anyway, I uh, I don't want them to have puppies. I also don't want to spay or neuter them either. So that's not more and more information. I'm being guided not to do that and to try alternative methods. Maybe a tubal ligation or a vasectomy or both. So they're sterile but not messed with their hormones. Because that's just not good for you. As you're a you know, just messes, just messes with things. Shouldn't be messed with. So anyhow, come on guys. Um, the beginning of the year, the end of the year. So we have... Oh, we have the muscle. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it. Stop it. Like she, she really doesn't mind it. But I do. So I just don't want her to get some stress fracture from him. Continuing to jump on her back like that. It's just not good. She's growing. I don't need her to be hurt. Because he's horny. <laughs> that's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's like, that's crazy. And she, she's nowhere near being in heat. Like, she's at least four months away from being in heat. So, yeah. It's just... She's sexy. She's sexy, that dirty, wet dog. She's sexy. What can we say? <laughs> he doesn't care. I mean, they couldn't have sex even if, I mean, even if he could manage to get close to her vagina, which he is nowhere near. <laughs> when he actually does get up there, it's like, you are like a foot and a half away. This is never happening. <laughs> like, he'll like hump the side of her leg. He'll hump her head. He just doesn't care. He just wants to hold on to her and hump. 
Like, he really doesn't, like, it's not about actual fornicating or intercourse or whatever you want to call it. It's, it's not really about that with him right now. It's just about being attracted to her and horny for her, holding on to her and humping her. <laughs> it's funny. It's really funny. We're going to go around here again. Let's go around here again. Come on. Okay, so enough of the enough of the dog stuff. Uh, whew, so end of year, beginning of the year. So 2023 had a lot going on energetically, real major uh, revelations and in the micro and the macrocosm of things. Uh, a lot of choices and decisions made, a lot of picking timelines, really deciding on where we're going and, and who's connected and what we're, uh, where we're resonating. Uh, and... And then just, you know, how we got, how we got to where we are and, and what's in play, what's in motion, what do you, what are we creating? What are we, what are we, um, what are we working on? What are we, what are our projects? What are we, what are our priorities? She's off again. She's just a little scavenge. He's like, what is she doing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Go get her. There she is. There she is. There she is. <laughs> yeah, she's just constantly. <laughs> um, because the more that we're aware of those things and really think about, like, the timelines that we're on and why we're on them and what we have coming up in the new year, what we want to put more energy into, what we want to uh, put less energy into or cut off or, you know, what we want to, how we want to work on ourselves, what we want to heal, what we want to create, what we want to magnetize into our lives, what we want to dissolve, what we want to improve. Uh, and... And then, you know, spiritually, how is that, can, how is our spirituality connected to all of that? Where's our vibration? What are we, what are we connecting to spiritually? How are we practicing spiritually? How are we t putting our, our health and our spirituality, our, our energy Poor dreamer. Oh, she's coming this way. There she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> you are so cute. You took the long way, huh? Um, she's relentless, man. Uh, so. How spiritually are we are we meshing all the things and seeing all the things connected and together? Um, our health, our spiritual health, our energetic health, what our connections are, um, and what are the priorities for ourselves with our self-care with our oh jeez cora chacho will you stop <laughs> this little peener's not even out <laughs> i swear it's like oh, he's so funny um
So, because it's so important right now, with what's going to be coming in, in, in 2024, which is going to be a lot, it's going to be intense, it's going to be fast moving, we have to pay attention to what we're um, putting our attention into, and what we're keeping our thoughts and our energy positive, and not letting fear and illusions and separation and anger and anxiety and judgment and and again fear on so many levels all of these things happen within microseconds um because that's if they do happen because that's where we're um literally harmonizing so are we harmonizing and love and peace acceptance unity um forgiveness understanding, support, uh, or are we harmonizing in <clears throat> fear and resentment and anger and miscommunication and frustration and resentment and, you know, uh, judgment and shame, these things. Because you can't be in both. Cora, drop it. Leave it. Thank you. Good girl. You're a very good girl. Yes. Come on. Uh, come on. So, as we leave 2023 and we get into 2024, we have to think about how 23 what 23 set up for us and where we resonate now what's going on and what fell apart what got created where things stand where you know where are we what are we feeling and within ourselves energetically emotionally mentally what's important to us as we move forward because here's the thing um The energy that's coming into play now more than ever is about manifestation. And because the collective is raising their vibration, more and more people are waking up. <clears throat> more and more people are asking questions and gathering in different ways. Uh... And practicing holistic health and holistic healing, energy healing, plant medicine. I mean, the whole world knows about ayahuasca at this point. And cannabis is legal <clears throat> in most places in the United States at this point, I think. Or at least it's 50-50. I really haven't been paying that close of attention. But I'm just, you know, uh, these are the examples that I'm being guided to to bring up and where'd Chacho go? Where's Chacho go? Oh, oh there he is. There he is. There's our guy. There's our guy. He's so handsome. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> You're so cute. Uh but <laughs> The thing is, is that when there's this transition happening, we're the very beginnings of the transition from unconscious to conscious living for more and more people and people spiritually awakening and people going through the maze, the hellish maze of spiritual awakening and dealing with all the, the, the really harsh realities of a lot of truths that we are forced to see because as we awake we see what's false and what's true and how much of so much most of if not almost all of 
our belief system that we are, that we build our foundation on for, you know, that tells us where we are and who we are and what we are is false. And things are definitely not what they have appeared to be. And we start to move in directions of trying to figure things out, ask, understanding things, experiencing mystical, metaphysical, spiritual type of things. Um, and being guided to learn and discover and discern and and our programs, our illusions, our fears, our, our, our interests, our passions, our, our identity is interwoven with all of it. So we get, well, there's so many different directions and things to, to look at, to discover, to learn, to, to com compare and contrast against. And, um, and it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, and we're getting into a, a, a place here in 2024. Come on, guys. Uh, in 2024, where uh, we're no like longer, like what's coming through is like, this is not beginner level anymore. We're getting into a level energetically. Um, because uh, that is a much faster um, type of plasma that we're in that Gaia is in now with her vibration and and where a lot of us have connected and anchored in very very high vibration um your ball was over here what happened to it no dude this is what always happens with that ball it was right over here. Where's that ball now? What'd you do with it? It was right here. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that. Oh, I think it might be raining again. And he lost the ball. Where'd you lose the ball? The ball was right here. Oh, there it is. Chacho, it's right here. Come on, it's right here. There it is. Good boy. He gets all stressed. Are you okay? Better? Oh, you want me to throw it? No. Are you going to give it to me or not? No. Okay. Are you going to get your ball? I, I get the ball more than they do sometimes. Now he's throwing the ball at me. It's going to roll under the fence if you can. Stop! Oh my god. You guys. <clears throat> Bear with me here. Come on, guys. Hey! That's a cheater. That's a cheater. That's a cheater. She got it. That girl got it. Wow. These fell out of the tree. They were just here, like. Just there. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Um. So, basically, what I'm getting at is the energies that are in play now. Um, for people who are awake, doesn't matter what your level of awake is, right? Just that you're awake. And. No, wait a minute. She dropped the ball because she's got a stick. So now we have two balls. Yep. You're getting really good at that. Hey, hey, do not try to mount her. Don't, Chacho. All right, you guys. Come on. Let's go. Turn to rain more. Get that ball. Can we go now, please? You guys, seriously, with this ball thing. So frustrating. Oh my God. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yes, 
It's not going to spray anymore now. Get that ball. Or don't. Whatever. <laughs> kind of over it. Uh, move. Sheesh. Sorry. So sorry. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, the energies that are in play now, for those who are awakened at any stage of awakening, you now you're awake. Whether you've been awake for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you've been awake for 5 months, you're awake. So, that takes you to a different level of the game, let's say. You go from passive to, to active living, hopefully. It's how you navigate that active living versus passive living. Passive when you're, when you're un, uh, unconscious, when you're asleep before you awake. And then you go into active living when you finally awaken, if you are chosen and if that is your destiny and it was time for you to awaken, then you awake spiritually. And so much of what... Or, like I said, almost all, if not all, of everything you learn quickly is not what it seems. And you have to navigate that. So, through this process of awakening, you are releasing and creating old and new stories and timelines. And you are raising your vibration, or at least... Clearing out energies and such. Come on, guys. Good babies. And. <laughs> Chacho. Seriously. Will you give it a break? Too much. There's a thing called too much. And we passed that yesterday around this time. Uh. So anyway, um, oh, it's pretty. We we are shifting our energy, shifting our vibration. We are understanding what energy is and how it works. Hopefully we're working with our energy. Hopefully we're, we're uh, clearing and healing, doing shadow work, uh, working with our energy cords. By the way, the Unstoppable Empath <laughs> course and membership, group membership starts on the 11th of January. And that is all about taking control of your energy, your energy connections, resetting and disconnecting energy cords, uh, connecting with your spirit guides and guardians, working with crystal energy and spirit animals and um, all sorts of fun stuff while healing and learning astral travel and all sorts of really, really cool things. <laughs> um, and maximizing your life force energy and seeing yourself transform through that work. It's really quite remarkable. I am passionate about it because of what it does. And this group membership is $35. I'll say it again. Three, five, thirty-five dollars a month for weekly meetings, a private group, the whole tool toolkit and course, and all the support you need to go through your regimen of maximizing your life force energy through gaining control and working with your energy connections, resetting and detaching, and using that for the rest of your life. Okay, commercial's over. Uh but that's a great way to start the year and really work with yourself. And I was guided to create it and begin creating it in July and offer it. And to start the year, the first new moon of the month is when we begin on January 11th, 2024, 5 p.m. Pacific. 
for people who have signed up. Okay. Uh, when it comes to manifesting, we got to be really careful because most people don't understand how manifesting works. And manifesting is about every single choice and micro choice we make every single moment of every single day that's connected to our vibration to our stories to our illusions to our programs manifesting is not saying oh i want this or that and then spending a few hours a few times a week writing in your journal lighting a couple candles doing something on the new moon um and you know having a vision board And then most of the time wondering if any of that's going to (laughs) work. Because a lot of people, that's what they do. Um, Or some version close to that. Manifesting truly is about how and what vibration, frequency, station we're connected to at any given moment. It's our reactions from moment to moment. It's how we respond. It's how we process. It's how we see and perceive the world. And anything that comes to us is through all of that energy um, that we're living in. We're projecting 24-7. And what's coming through very strongly for 2024 is we have to be more diligent than ever to stay in a positive higher vibration, to work on releasing lower density, toxic energy, stagnant, dense energy that's been a part of us. Uh, releasing programs and stories and illusions uh, that force us to have a negative response to things, to be triggered, um, to uh, whatever. Um, But we can't just decide that that's the way it's going to be. We actually have to work on ourselves through that. But something to really keep in mind is that we have um, this whole situation with Things can get uncomfortable and unpleasant if we dwell too much on what we don't want versus what we do want. And 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 worries and stress and anxiety is all tied into fears of something we usually don't want to happen. What if this happens? What if that happens? All the fears, all the whatevers that that tell us to be anxious and stressful and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, and that happens with many, many, in many, many ways, uh, about, about many different things all day long, big things, little things, whatever. It's our inner dialogue. It's, it's again, it's, it's the lens in which we We are moving and behaving and thinking and expressing and being in the world at any given moment and what we're, what we believe in, what we, what we want to, uh, to be, uh, what we believe is possible or impossible and what we, what we see for, uh, for ourselves in any given moment, what is possible for us or impossible for us, what is magic, what is real, you know, all the things. Uh, Chacho, off please. Um, And we can very easily dwell on things that we don't want. Think about all the things we don't want. And then those are the things that are actually going to manifest for us because that's where we're targeting our energy. Um, so we really have to be careful of that, especially in this coming year. That has always been the case. That has always been the case, but especially in this coming year because... Uh, the energies, the polarities are more potent. The magnetism for, and our strength and our power is more potent. So it's even more precarious for those of us who have cleared out and healed and ascended higher and higher 
those of us that are true um, light warriors and real doing real work, real light work and have have really um, ascended uh, to high, uh, very high vibrations and frequencies, it might be even more precarious for us because and for us to be to stay very positive in our thinking because of the fact that our power for magnetism is going to increase a lot more over these next few weeks, days and weeks as we cross over into 2024 and just a few different alignments take place astrologically, cosmically, galactically, transitioning through January. Um, so it's a really, really good time to get centered with yourself about really what is going on mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, energetically, that is a lower vibration. What are the, what are the fears and the programs and stuff? And if you're just like, I don't know, then what you're going to want to do is think about finding a book or a course or a video system, something a course like mine, working with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, doing energy work. You've got to do something that's going to start unraveling the knot that's going to help you get control of your thoughts, your vibration, and your timelines. Or else you're going to be at the mercy of all of these confusing energies, especially um, it's kind of like either if you're really new to waking up or been around for a long time it's probably those two those two extremes are going to have the hardest part of um time of it because things are going to get like it's going to be like you barely step on the gas and whoa you're going 100 miles an hour sort of thing um and and so by really paying attention and thinking back on where we've been, what's all happened in the last year, what did we set up for ourselves, what have we shifted and transcended, what are we in, in process of, what are still open-ended questions. Um, we are still at the very tail end of Mercury retrograde. This is still a very, very good time to use that energy to go back and review Mercury retrograde coming at this time of the year is no coincidence whatsoever. Um, and and to not utilize that energy um, to help you take inventory and see where you are and where you're going, what you want to be a part of, what you want to feel in yourself, what you want to experience for yourself, what you want to take in with your two eyes and your one third and your third eye and we want to breathe in what you want to feel in your body and your system where you want to go what you want to you know be a part of what you want to create it's that's positive and and works to help you move forward um what shifts, what changes, what are the priorities, where is everything at, where has it been? You know, all of these things are going to help you assess what's going on and what you need to do to move forward for yourself in 2024. So you are uh, um, magnetizing and creating and a part of timelines that are only in you know for that are only you know most positive uh because again just like we can easily magnetize what we don't want to us we can very easily magnetize what we do want for us for ourselves and but that needs to be consistent we can't have 50 50 negative and positive it needs to be like above 90% positive that's going on within us. That's not saying that every day is is not without challenges. But what that means is that where you're resonating at, 
where your frustration level, where your irritation level is, where your confusion is, where your pain is, all of these judgment, shame, guilt, um, fears in so many different ways versus faith and happiness and bliss and contentment and seeking healing and unity and helping and gratitude. I mean, just look at the spectrum of frequencies. Um, just look up Google spectrum of frequencies and you'll get so many images of the lower level frequencies and the higher level frequencies to help you gauge where you are. And a lot of people are feeling stuck, unmotivated, confused, listless, um, fatigued, like they're slipping back, all of these things. And, and you really need to think about where, how you got there, because there are answers there that need to, that, you know, you are where you, where you are for a reason. This is where you needed to be wherever in all the different points in your life, that's where you needed to be. That's where you got yourself in 2023. So think about all those different roads that got you where you are. What was connected to them that were really positive and what were, what was negative, perhaps what, what needs healing what needs disconnecting, what needs stronger connections, what needs forgiveness, what needs understanding, what needs support and love, what needs uh, to be finalized and let go of and to truly move on. All of those questions are going to really help you to understand uh really help you to understand what you where you're at starting 2024 and and help like a like a I don't know I'm seeing like a parachute or you know just help keep you up and help keep you you know a higher perspective and you know from falling and and something like that it's like it's an interesting vision but it will help you gauge and be your barometer for where you're, where you are and where you're, you're going and what to pay attention to with yourself. Um, and make self, self care and self healing, self exploration, evolution, ascension, spirituality, healing, energy work, different learning about different things about yourself. Um, and and doing work for yourself with yourself uh again my my groups the awakening empath shaman circle uh and the unstoppable empath are great places to start without a whole lot of money investment whatsoever to get you in a really safe sacred high vibe spiritual space to start opening up and evolving and shifting and changing. Or not just start, but continue, you know, um, in a different way. Uh, connected and, and working on yourself in a different way. But if my things don't work for you or whatever, fine. Or you're not ready on that level. Um, think about what you, what you can do for yourself as we move into 2024. Um, because again, it's going to be intense. It's going to be fast. Things are going to shift. It's going you, you really to get yourself anchored in solid about where you've been, where you are and where you want to go and how to manage and captain your ship, your ship, uh, mastering your frequency, mastering your, your, uh, I got roses coming up. Uh, is going to dictate so much of where it is that you're going in 2024, right? So it's very important to see all this very clearly. Don't let yourself get away from yourself, uh, that sort of thing as we move forward. Um, and... I 
I guess that's it for now. Um, if you have not watched my webinars for the Unstoppable Empath course and group membership, check them out. I've done two. Uh, I didn't think I was going to do another one, but I might just to get into more of exactly what the healing is about. So that's just explained just a little bit more. We'll see if I'm guided to do that. Um, but anyhow, I wish you a happy new year that if you and I are meant to meet and work together, that we most certainly will. Um, for one, for two, that no matter what you do, that it is beautiful and peaceful and prosperous and, and that you're creating and that you're moving forward and letting go and, and growing and maximizing yourself in the way that you're guided to do for yourself and that you don't let anything or anyone get in your way and that you continue to heal and grow and evolve and and have <clears throat> excuse me have less and less pain frustration confusion and things just get clear and clear and more and more beautiful and powerful for you in 2024 and of course beyond thanks for being here with me spending this time with me and my adorable puppies. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and happy new year. And I will see y'all soon. Bye for now.